Welcome to Greenshine Farmer's video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. Hey guys, on this week's episode we're going to show you how to build a drying rack. We're going to go into the steps that it takes to build it, all the parts you need, and also how to put a, an epoxy coating on it so that it can actually be wiped down um, after use. So what is a drying rack? Well, let's go check it out. All right, so here we are in our processing station. I apologize for the noise. We've got the exhaust fan going up there. We've got the AC going back there. It gets pretty hot in here during the day, so we're trying to keep it cool. But anyway, this is a drying rack behind me. Um, basically, we use it to, like it says, to dry our greens. So we've got some box fans up, up here, and then we just can't have a wooden frame with quarter inch mesh underneath. And I'm gonna go through everything you need to build this, um, and just step by step how to do it. Building a new drying rack. So it's going to be an improved version of this one over here. It's going to have four fans instead of two. It's going to be an extra foot longer. Other than that, everything's pretty much going to be the same, except for the fact that in order to make this drying rack gap certifiable, we are putting on a clear uh, food grade epoxy resin. So basically all that is, um, you know, they give you these two different ones. One's a sealant, one's the resin. This is a curing agent. So you'll, you know, you, they have videos on their website. Um, I think it's the epoxy experts that we got it from. But basically you're mixing this um, two to one, and then I'm putting in a little bit of acetone, uh, you know, like 5% acetone to just kind of make it easier uh, to apply. And so we're mixing in here for about five minutes, transferring it to this vessel mixing it a little bit more and then we have a high density foam roller and we're using that to just apply it to these boards and so I've got all my stuff pre-cut um, one thing you want to do is make sure that your boards are clean because whatever is on here is going to be on here once it seals so these are outside they've got a little bit of mud and stuff so I'm just going to give them a quick wipe get some of that stuff off. But um, the point of this, what the resin will do, is actually give us a, a wipeable surface. You know, right now, the reason they kind of frown upon using wood uh, for produce is because it's a porous, uh, uh, it, it's a porous structure, so things are gonna seep into it. So really, you wanna have a coat that can be wiped clean with some kind of disinfectant. Uh, so that bacteria and whatnot won't harbor inside. Okay, so these are the supplies you'll need. Four inch uh, metal yeah. elbow brackets. Ah. Good job, buddy. Uh, eight of those, you're gonna need five sixteenth washers. You're gonna need uh, a roll of quarter inch mesh. This is three foot by 10 foot. Uh, number eight, one and a quarter inch metal screws. You're gonna need a drill. You're going to need uh, some two and a half inch uh, five sixteenth lag bolts. Uh, you're going to need some number ten by three inch metal screws, some drill bits, staple gun, uh, staples, power strip. You're going to need some coat hangers because we're going to break them apart and use the wire. And then last, you're going to need some box fans. Now I went with the Polonius. Um, this is kind of a Lowe's model, I guess. They seemed a bit stronger than the ones I had used before, so this is a seven foot model. It's a foot longer than our other drying rack, so we're gonna try to put four of these up there to really get things dry. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just lay out a basic rectangle. Um, you wanna use the short boards on the inside, and then you're gonna take your four inch metal brackets, and we're actually gonna put these on the outside. Now, I know a lot of people will be thinking, you know, the grooves are made so it can go inside, why are you going to do that? Um, the reason being is we want it on the outside. I had them on the inside on the last one, and this, you know, tends to corrode uh, over time. So, you know, it'll just be more sanitary if we just put it out here. And honestly, it's not really going to matter which way these screws go in. So that's finished. Uh, basically, we're just going to do the same thing again for the second layer. Oh, I put 
it on? Can you put more on? Yeah, there's one by your leg. Right there. Anyway, we've got our mesh laid out here. I cut the corners and kind of tucked it in and then just cut off the uh, excess uh, so we can actually have a nice, um, you know, square so it's kind of rounded. You really don't want this to be like, you really don't want any loose wire because it just rips your clothing and it's, it's not fun. So um, now that we've got our wire mesh on, I'm just going to staple it all down and then we'll reinforce it later with uh, screws and washers. Now that we've got our screen attached, um, we are ready to attach the legs. I just wanted to mention, so I took some um, screws and some washers, just little like one inch screws, and kind of, you know, I stapled the outside and then I went through with the screws and kind of secured the bottom. Now I only had six washers, so I'm going to add some more later, but it's dinner time and it's good enough for right now. All right, back from dinner and uh, ready to put the legs on. So I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. Just kind of pre-drill every hole, it just makes it a lot easier. I'm using 5 16th lag bolts, so that makes it thread pretty easy, and then I'm just cranking it down with the ratchet. We're gonna put the legs on. Now, since we have our, our brackets on the outside, we're gonna put the legs just slightly offset, so starting right where the bracket ends. Now that we got our legs on, we're going to put on our side braces and the top for our fans. Okay, we got our side braces, we got our top brace, we're about ready to hang our fans. Uh, what we're going to use for that is just like one of these dry cleaning hangers. Um, they just kind of, you know, break apart like that, take this uh, piece off, and then we're just going to untwist this, and we basically want to get two pieces of wire. It doesn't have to be a closed hanger, it could be any sort of stiff wire, um, but you basically are going to want two pieces of wire like this, and then what we're going to do is actually feed it through the fan along the back side. So you're going to kind of just loop it like this and then we'll twist it overhead uh, to secure it to that post. Alright, there it is. That's how to build a greens drying rack. Um, I just have these four fans plugged into a power strip on the back wall. One more thing I wanted to mention was that uh, another difference between this and the old model was I actually put four uh, bolts on each on each brace uh, instead of two. It just seems more sturdy this way. I mean, this thing is is not going anywhere. So that's it. I will put the uh, I will put all the supplies and all my dimensions in the description below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. And thanks for watching. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, visit us at greenshinefarms.com and follow us on Instagram at greenshinefarms. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.